When athletes and actors start dating, there's going to be a clashing of worlds. What if the celeb has no interest in the sport? What if the jock has no clue how to walk a red carpet? These are just a few of the real issues actress Olivia Munn and Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers grappled with throughout their relationship. But after their 2017 split, the rumor mill cranked into full swing. Let's get to the bottom of it and figure out the real reason Olivia Munn and Aaron Rodgers broke up. Oh my gosh, today is the day, right? Hey, congratulations, you're free. You gonna get a back tattoo and some skinny jeans? Shady hookups. Even before her high-profile and rumor-plagued relationship with Rogers, Munn had a history of suspect Hollywood hookups. First, there was the revelation in her book Suck It Wonder Woman, The Misadventures of a Hollywood Geek, about a sexual encounter with an unnamed director. Later, director Brett Ratner owned up to it on Munn's old show on G4, and he used some pretty blunt language to talk about their encounter. I wrote this book. Tough to argue with that. Then, according to the Huffington Post, there was the time Munn allegedly came between Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel during a steamy three-day affair. Soon Munn moved on to another A-lister, Robocop reboot star Joel Kinnaman. They dated for two years and had an amicable breakup. Except Glamour reported that it was only two weeks after Munn and Kinnaman split that Munn hooked up with Rogers. And that was after the pair had presented a country music award together the month before. That relationship definitely got off to a sketchy start. Putting a ring on it? Ask any guy who's been dating a woman for a while how awesome it is when people bring up marriage. Now multiply that by a million because when you're a superstar athlete dating an up-and-coming Hollywood star, you probably get that question all the time. Munn and Rogers were the target of endless engagement speculation, and she didn't do herself any favors when she accidentally fanned the flames in an Instagram post. In Sophie Turner's pick of the cast of X-Men Apocalypse, Munn's left hand is front and center, clearly sporting a giant rock on the lockdown finger. Rumors flew until Munn shut it all down. Um, I'd been eating too many salty foods. My emerald ring that I wear all the time on my right hand, yeah. and I had to put it onto my left because um, my right hand was getting too swollen. Okay, whatever you say, girl. Considering all of the engagement drama already surrounding them, wouldn't it have been easier for her to just not wear the ring? We're not even engaged, Mom. Oh, I'm not engaged. But you thought she was. I, got, I saw that text. Yeah, I thought she was. I was so excited. <laughs> she believes everything online. Family drama. A November 2016 Bleacher Report story cited a source claiming Rogers had not spoken to his family since December 2014. After that, stories about how Munn was the cause of the family rift blew up. Rogers' dad, Ed, confirmed the timeline of the strained relationship to the New York Times in January 2017, ominously saying, fame can change things. Though Aaron was already a star in his own right, having led Green Bay to a Super Bowl win in 2011, many viewed Ed's fame comment as a reference to his son's sudden appearance all over the Hollywood scene with his new girlfriend, Olivia Munn. But even before Ed's revelation, there had already been a huge reveal from another member of the Rogers clan. Dirty Laundry Aaron's brother Jordan won The Bachelorette in the summer of 2016, proposing to JoJo Fletcher during the season finale. Are you marrying me? Yes! <laughs> Give me that hand. Yes. Give me that hand. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm Let's see shaking. if I can get it on. But in an earlier episode, Jordan told Fletcher about brother Aaron's distance from the family. Me and Aaron don't really have that much of a relationship. It's just kind of the way he's chosen to, to do life. And uh, I chose to, to stay close with my family. Jordan told People, you don't get any time off camera. So we're talking about really trying to get to an engagement. You got to share everything. It had to be talked about. In another episode, Jordan brought Fletcher home to meet his family, where they shared a meal together at a table conspicuously arranged with two empty chairs. While that staging was obviously set up, it was a definite statement. You know, we are public people, and it's so obnoxious when people, you know, we're not like running behind dumpsters and be like, don't take our picture, right. <laughs> but go see our movie. <laughs> Girls Got Shade Speaking to People, a source close to the Rogers defended Munn against allegations that she's the cause of the rift in the family, saying, Olivia doesn't really have anything to do with it. This is not her issue. This is the Rogers family issue. That source must not have Instagram, because on January 22, 2017, Olivia dished out some passive-aggressive shade by liking other comments that slammed the Rogers family. According to sports gossip blog Therese Owens, Munn liked two comments. This team looked like a family this season, and Aaron Rodgers had a great year. Thank you for being his biggest supporter after his family caused so much negative distractions. Enjoy the offseason. And thank you for standing by Aaron when his own family sold stories to the media in the recent weeks and tried very hard to wreck his momentum. He is lucky to have found you. Real love is a gift. But was that enough for Rodgers to throw the talent on an almost three-year relationship? 
Probably not, but the guy has been adamant about not wanting to handle his strained relationship with his family in the media. Hey, maybe Mun got sick of never being able to defend herself against accusations that she destroyed the Rogers family, a claim exacerbated by the TV show that threw her under the bus and staged a fairy tale engagement for her would-be brother-in-law. Either way, cracks were starting to appear in that whole messy family dynamic, and something was bound to give. What is love? What is love? <laughs> That's a huge, loaded question that I do not know the answer to, so if you find out, please DM me and let me know. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.